a common theme. Something's not right. National Park closes. It's closed. It's actually closed. There's an avalanche uh, danger exists. <laughs> I don't like the looks of that. <laughs> settled into our site we're in Seward for a week let's go check it out and do some stuff yes and this is about how <laughs> she's gonna be dressed most All of the week. week the black parka and my new <laughs> pants see <laughs> very nice birthday pants yeah and I've got long johns on a couple layers so that's right gloves. so let's go uh, see Seward So once the uh, charters come in, they clean the fish here and dump all the carcasses down there. A common theme in May in Alaska for our trip so far. <laughs> so that is Exit Glacier in Kenai Fords National Park. This is the glacial runoff and the melt from the snowpack. And this is a closed road that would normally take us to the trail that would get us on Exit Glacier, but it's closed. Okay, something's not right. When the National Park closes, I know it's May in Alaska, but ugh. All right, let me look and see what's going on. Ugh. Well. All right, it's closed. It's actually closed. Aww. They said because a lot of snow, there's an avalanche uh, danger exists and something about the glacier toe and ice. It has a broken toe. It has a broken toe and ice columns can fall down on you. So, okay, I guess it's kind of dangerous up there right now. So it's closed. Aw, oh, geez. So that means we're not going to have to hike the 3,000 uh, uh, 3, foot, elevation, foot gain. elevation gain over four miles on my birthday week. Hmm. <laughs> All right, but we're coming back in August. August. Yeah, we may extend a few days so we can hike the Harding uh, ice field. Right, because last time you didn't get a chance to do it. No, we were I gonna didn't. Do it this time, so next time. All right, August. August. <laughs> Yeah. 
It is cold and rainy. Yeah. Yeah. We're in Alaska. It's Sandra's birthday. Yeah. Where do we go for guaranteed wildlife sightings? The Alaska Sea Center. <laughs> I want to see some otters. What are you doing? I'm touching the water. It's cold. <laughs> How anything lives in this, I don't know. And most of them came from All these animals are cool, but what'd you come to get, see? Otters. <laughs> otters. That's, uh, we're in search of otters. Who's gonna get it first? Ah, uh, Mr. Krabby. How'd he get in there? Oh man, he is big. How in the world? Kind of moving around. Oh, jeez. Is he going to get back in there? Well, we were looking for otters. Didn't see any. And we know why. Yeah, they're too much like me. <laughs> <laughs> very high maintenance. And expensive Very to expensive. Keep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can so relate to that. <laughs> I didn't realize this, but the sewer, uh, uh, what's this place called? The um, sewer, um, uh, sea Life sea Center. Life. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's truly a research center. It's a nonprofit. Yep. And um, so most of the animals they have are strictly here for research, um, or they generally aren't released back into the wild. They're um, sent to maybe to other sea life centers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and. Uh, and with otters, when they get them, they try to find them a home. Yeah. Oh, and just FYI, when you get a, an otter camera, an otter case, case, there's a reason why they call them otters. Because <laughs> apparently, when they make these enclosures, they have to be otter proof. Because yeah. apparently, otters are very smart and very sneaky. They know how to unscrew bolts. And yep. they know how to get out. And so the otter case is well named. Yes. So we came up here the other day wanting to get to the national park mm -hmm. and the gate was closed yeah. just closed now that's not unusual on this trip so far no no we're getting used to it we're getting used because we've come up so early into alaska so we came up today fully expecting to, to walk hike up the road about two miles up the road yeah just to check things out. And we get to the bridge and the gate is open. Wide open. And a car came through the other way and we're like, oh yeah. All right. Oh my goodness, it's open. Wow. Wow, what so we don't have to walk it. What a difference a day makes. Yeah. 
Yay, there is a hiking god. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to head up to Exit Glacier, see how far we can get, uh -huh. and to the Kenai Fords National Park Visitor Center. Now this doesn't mean we're going to do that three mile hike, does we're it? We're not prepared for that. There's always Saturday. Wildlife sightings, none, because it's closed. So we're here. Yes. And you want to do this. Oh, yeah, I really do. Three miles and what, 3,000 foot elevation climb. Well, technically it's 4.1 miles <laughs> and 3,000 foot elevation climb. So that's oh. less than 1,000 foot a mile. Oh, piece of cake. Yeah, so that's only 1.4 to get to Marmot. Yeah, yeah but, but to the end, the end of the trail, of the trail you got to do that, but, right? Oh, you 3,500 feet. You're not supposed to write, read the fine print. Uh, I want to do the Harding Icefield one. Of the, we're going to do I, it this I summer. Agree. That's a long way. Oh yeah. Buckle up, baby. According to the sign, we were going to go at the uh, Glacier Overlook, but we did not bring our snowshoes <laughs> with us. But is that going to stop us? No. <laughs> we'll go part of the way. But let's head on this trail. Yeah. And we'll see if we can get a closer view of the Yeah, glacier. we're going to go on that trail. Yeah. So what's cool is all along the trail, there's these uh, date markers. And even going down the road, that shows where the glacier was at that time. So i got a question for you. Yes. You you wanted to buy me snow pants for my birthday. Yeah. And since you didn't suggest that I wear them today, I guess this isn't part of my birthday present. <laughs> no, no. Hmm. You want to climb up there? <laughs> I do, all the way up there, and over. Well, we made it to the Exit Glacier viewpoint, and according to the placard, um, back in 2008, the very tip of the glacier used to be there, and then 15 years later, it's uh, receded back quite a bit. And for some crazy reason, David wants to go out here and then hike all the way to the top, right along here, which is part of the Harding Ice Fields. So this glacier represents about 2% of the ice fields. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. Well, we're continuing our snow hike, and we came across the Exit Glacier River Creek. Yeah, I don't it's know. called the. Man, what is it called? I don't know. It's not the Exit Creek. <laughs> no, but it's so pretty, oh, it's and beautiful. Um, so you know what you got to do. Oh, I got to test the water. There's a lot of snow, and it's cold. And it's coming from a glacier. Yeah, it's like really cold. All yeah. right, do it. It's tradition. Man. Yeah. Oh, that just, I knew it was going to be cold, and it is cold. And yet you stuck your hand in yeah, it. Yeah, well, you know, I had to make sure. Man. <laughs> Hope's that, eternal. That is really cold. <laughs> so pretty, though. Gorgeous. Ooh. You think that's a bear? <laughs> he stuck his paw in there? Well, he probably stuck it. It's like, oh, that's too deep. I'm going back home. It could be. Hmm. I mean, my feet are getting stuck. Let's keep going. Yep, four John. All right, so I'm going to do a water test. We're at low point. 
this is Resurrection Bay, and this is the Black Sand Beach. So this is pretty cool, being from Hawaii. <laughs> I guarantee you, this water's colder than Hawaii. Warmer than the glacier water, still chilly. Dry camping on the water with these amazing views, watching all the animals, the seals and the otters, and grilling out pizza with homemade pizza dough. Now this is roughing it. Right, ever since we got to Seward, you've been asking, why do I need my snow pants? Yeah. And then when you took us on that little snow hike, I'm like, uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> that was sort of an appetizer. Yeah. Well, today's the day. It's the big reveal. So your birthday was a few days ago. Yeah. But we're doing this today because the weather's better. Uh-huh. For Seward, Alaska, this is good this weather. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> Yeah, so you're gonna need them today. Yeah, out on a boat, yes. It's, um, so every day it's been between 46 and 48 degrees every day, and every day there's been spots of rain. Right, but today's a little different because we're gonna be on the water. Yeah, so it'll be today's, a little cold. Yes, today's an orca tour, yeah. wildlife tour, about six and a half hours we'll be out there. So. So we're gonna see uh, how many animals that she can shoot. I mean, take pictures of. <laughs> our boat arrives for our six hour tour. And hopefully a lot of wildlife. Hi folks. Uh, uh, we have a good shot though. All right. All right. Window seat. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> and look. They have the cruise guide. Nice. The animals. Oh, I can see something going into the bujo. Oh, it's so going into the bujo. <laughs>
at the end of Ialic Bay, it's Holgate Glacier, and it's Cabin. Pretty cool, Tidewater Glacier. Uh -huh. We've seen it calving. Yes. And we've seen the seal. We've seen seal. Stellar sea lion. Sea lion. That's what it was, yeah. We've seen a sea lion. We've seen otters. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Puffins. Puffins, all kinds of stuff. Bald eagles. Yeah. So we're looking for whales now. That's next. You'd think with Alaska being so cold, there wouldn't be a lot of wildlife here. Sandra and I were talking about that. It's, man, it's amazing the diversity of wildlife that's up here. It's just incredible. It's like right now, uh, we're looking at a bear. It's uh, up next to that waterfall. Way far away, you can't really see it. But it's incredible. Incredible. Maybe we'll see an orca today. Last time you saw a dive, that's uh, who's that was referring to as. Well, we're back. 
Was it a good day on the water? Oh, it was a wonderful day. It was a great day on the water. <laughs> man, how about oh, uh, man. how those orca pictures turn out? I don't know. Only because I took about 600 pictures on the <laughs> boat and then... I deleted about a hundred. I mean, the obvious <laughs> yucky ones. So I've got actually, I have five hundred thirty-four files I need to go through. So five hundred and thirty-four. Yeah. So actually, that was a slow day considering we're out for six and a half hours. That's only a hundred an hour. So that's that's not very good for me actually. Oh, man. But I think I got some good pictures. And best of all, in my journal, see, I'm getting all my nice little stickers on the outside. But look at the stickers I found in Toke. I've got all these sea life stickers that I can put on there. It's so exciting. And while I'm doing it, uh, because it was my birthday, look at here. They gave me extra brownies. So tonight's going to be a good night. I'm going to go through all my pictures. I'm going to have some hot chai and I'm going to eat all those brownies. So, on the whole, was it a great day on the bay? It was a wonderful day on the bay, and thank you very much for this wonderful birthday present. Happy birthday, thank sweetie. Thank you. I love you. Okay, never give up. So the visitor center finally opened up. Today is Saturday yep. of Memorial Day. Today's the first day. And there was a group of four people asking about the orca tour and where do you see orcas. Yep. So fortunately I got my Facebook post posted and we started talking and the ranger asked, Oh, did you get a picture of it? And I said, Yeah. And, and I, she said, and I said that the, uh, the tour boat people um, we're able to identify it, so we told her it's pod A8 something and us. She's like, oh, you saw Skana. Yeah, he's uh, famous and he he's is. in a he's... display back here. Exactly, so we got the whole story on Skana and that was, and there's a boat named after him too, so. That was really cool. I didn't we know that we were uh, in the waters with a celebrity. Really, and I think we just sold a cruise for four people. Yeah, we should go back to that marine <laughs> company and get a commission off of really? it. So that was really cool.
see any. Maybe we were leaving, so. Oh wow, there's some kayakers or something down there. Kenai River. From Seward, we're heading down to the KP, the Kenai Peninsula, for just a few days. Then we're gonna head back towards Denali. We decided to stop for lunch, uh -huh. and also to check out a historic ferry. Well, it was here back in 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Used to be here. As you can see, not now. No ferry. And no fishermen. Not time yet. But this is the Russian River. Uh -huh. It's pretty. The, the, the colors are just incredible. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. And it's the, what did someone uh, tell us? It's the confluence of the Kenai and the Russian River mm -hmm. uh, in this area. And that's why it's so good for fishing yeah one of the best spots in the kenai for fishing when the fish are here yeah but i don't think the fish are here yet because there's no one else here fishing <laughs> we had a nice night mooch docking yes. at a friend's place finally got to meet him face to face after seven years of being friends on facebook yeah and yeah. then they moved up to alaska two years ago so we had to come all the way up here to meet him <laughs> <laughs> really so we're in Soldatna. It's not all fun and games, no. though, when you're full-timing in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to do laundry. Yeah. But this time, we came prepared. <laughs> not. <laughs> Is this like a secret campground? It might be. I thought this was like a state rec campground. Yeah, it's supposed to be. I mean, the road looks pretty decent. Yeah, but you don't know if it's a dead end or... I mean, it could no be a sign. dead end. There's nothing. But there's no sign that says it's a dead end, so it may not be a dead end. <laughs> getting heart palpitations. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there was no sign on the road, but it did say camping, right? To the no. right. No. In a quarter of a mile, turn left on Erickson Street. Are we taking the back way into this campground, maybe? I, you know, I didn't know there was a back way, actually. I think we are taking the back way into it. We're going left, right, left, right, left, right. I think so, because we should be taking a right and getting yeah, going into it from another way. Oh, moose. Oh, oh. Try this again. And this has a sign. Yes, we see a sign. But hey, we saw a moose on that other wrong turn, yes. so that was worth it. Now I want to go back and hunt him down. That worked out really good. In 300 feet, turn right. Ooh. A little fish cleaning. Yeah. Some or sort of campground. Hmm. So are we going to see a volcano from here? I think there's a lot of volcanoes. Oh, here comes a boat. So stay in here. Okay, I'm shutting off the video.